Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another glorious day of full triumph. Yes, indeed, my dudes. We are finally hopping into this. You know what I need to do, though? I probably need to turn down the music because that is freaking loud. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There we go. I think that's going to be good. Let's turn the sound effects down, too. All right, so <clears throat> here we are, my dudes, with Fort Triumph. Now, <laughs> I didn't actually know if I was going to end up giving this game a try. And, you know, there are many other games. There's, like, Gears Tactics and all that other stuff. But this is a wonky little thing, and it um, looks kind of fun. So we're going to give it a try. I at least wanted to give it a give it a good old college trial on, screen, on stream. So now, my dudes, if you would, if you would join me now for the highlight of your day, the part that makes everything better, the real reason you're here. If you're new, no worries. Listen carefully, tis but a simple set of instructions. All you need to do is grab your cup, your mug, your glass. Perhaps you have a tankard, chalice, or a stein. Maybe a canteen, jug, or flask, a vessel of any kind. You fill it with your favorite liquid. I like my morning coffee, waifu made. And join me now for the gloriousness, the stupendosity, the absolute awesome sauce that is the simultaneous sip. Go. That's good sipping, boys. That's good sipping. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yesterday, we started our very first Beta 3 playthrough of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. Now, we had, we had previously just finished up uh, the be a Beta 2 campaign after, you know, I got my ass kicked on my first one. And uh, we acquitted ourselves well, if I do say so myself. And this new Beta 3 campaign, while it's not too much different, it does change quite a few dynamics in the game. And so we're going to definitely be checking that out. We're going to be back with XCOM on Thursday, I believe. Thursday! Oh, man, my pencil's broke. Ain't that, a, ain't that something? Um, do I not have any? Let stand by for me. The, um... <laughs> Okay, I do. That's really weird. Um, hmm. There we go. That looks like it's working now. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Fixed it. I fixed it. All right, so. <clears throat> Fort Triumph is an XCOM-style strategy game that has heroes of might and magic... Uh, exploration in the str on the strategic layer and the tactical layer is like XCOM and we are going to be playing the tutorial today now what does this say permadeath when a permadeath is turned off dead heroes can be re recruited at towns hmm. I think we're going to give that a try to see what the how the mechanics of that work so I think we're going to leave permadeath off. I'll probably end up turning it on if we end up playing more than the tutorial human campaign. But if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Onward to victory. Kick is the only physics ability without a cooldown. Okay. So now, if I'm not mistaken, these, these maps are randomly generated. Oh great! It was nightfall, and the smoldering soup inn was bluster. It was bustling with activity. The recent economic troubles had folks concerned, which in turn demanded spending coin to take their mind off such things. I think I can only play the human faction at the moment. Uh, I, I tried to click the others at another time, and it didn't work. So we got a suspiciously hooded character. Ooh, a hooded character quietly approaches the tavern's entrance, where a large troll loiters menacingly. Greetings. May I have interest to this establishment? Oh, God, he's a snake. The bouncer eyes the stranger up and down. Nah, I can't let no dubious persons in. You want to go through the back? That's for persons of dishonest repute and general unscrupulousness. This guy said this word. Like, most of this other stuff, I could kind of see. Dishonest is a bit much, in my opinion. But unscrupulousness. Are you sure that's what he said? And you want to skulk... And you want to skulk with your knees so it don't hurt your back. <laughs> the, the dark figure nods gratefully at a thoughtful comment and skulks away on his knees. Okay, fair enough. Meanwhile, inside the smoldering soup inn, and since the justice factory shut down, I cannot find worthy employment. Oh, God. And Linda here just lost her scholarship. And I'm telling you, there ain't no justice. Oh, God. Well, there remains some in the stockpiles, but that shan't last long. Lindra stares forward lonely at the wall and sighs. 
it's the freaking nobles' fault, you know. Always plotting and playing with our hard-earned or stolen coin. But tis their divine right to do such, as scripture commands. God help me. <laughs> Chapter 7 of Ye Far Too Olden Ways, The Layeth of the Lake, her arm clad in... Lindra stirs from her daydream. Hey, what if we formed our own party? Why is that coming up now? We need the coin, and we're a capable group. We could hire ourselves out directly and pick the contracts we like. I like the way she thinks. Won't have to take crap from no one. We could halt evildoers ere they act, enact their villainous plots. God help you. Stumbles and bumps into Solaris. Whoops, apologies. No worries, sir. Now where were we? Ah, yes. We shall require a coat of arms. Surely a battle standard. Solaris' voice drowns out as the mysterious stranger makes his way to the other side of the inn. To a quiet corner where a fearsome goblin war chief awaits. Really? That's what the goblin war chief looks like? Garabarak the Terrible. The war chief nods as the figure approaches and takes his seat. The hooded character pulls out a heavy parcel and slides it over. Are we settled? Let me, how do I actually pronounce his name? Garabarak? Garabarak? Inspects the contents, rattles it, and nods. The pact is made. The hooded creature begins to laugh maniacally. Garback gestures with a sign above the bar. No evil cackling past me. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that got me. Act one, the goblin invasion. This is going to be great. So I assume the tutorial is heavily scripted because of uh, reasons. All right, Solaris Ironfloss. Oh, that's not that's not a weird ass name at all. No. To move the paladin using the right mouse bumper, all actions cost action points. The action point indicator near the cursor indicates each action point cost. Wow. Okay. So. Oh wow. Okay. So you can you can move really far if you need to. Interesting. Each one is just a little bit less. Okay. So. What is this? Strikes a single target. Requires two action points. Okay. Am I just supposed to walk up to his ass? Oh, and that's, I think that's cover. Huh. Aha. So we have cover. Very nice. Is there half cover or full cover? Ah, I see. So this is half cover. Because of the wooden shield. This is full cover. Now, wouldn't you be able to topple these things? I would think. I would think. Um, so we right click to move. Right click to move. To attack enemies, target them and press the right mouse button. Okay. Hammer strike costs 2 AP and requires you to stand next to the target. Can we turn the camera? Oh, and it's smooth camera. That is so cool. That Oh, you can stand on top of the rocks. Now that is even better. Okay, my dudes. Click. Wait, did that not work? Okay, okay. That, okay. <laughs> uh, it said rice mouse button. Right. Rice mouse button. Rice! Rice! Die, fool! There we go. Oh, no! Ow! So, to attack enemies, target them. Okay, so... Right-click again. What is this? Passive stun protection. Protects the paladin from being stunned once. Activates, activates once per turn. Disabled in tutorial segment. Okay. Stun protection protects the unit from being stunned up to one time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But it activates once per turn. So once per turn, you get a... St wow. And you get attacks of opportunity. Pass a peon. Hobbyists, laborers. Humans are skilled at lifting, allowing them to use far away lift. Oh, that's that's funny. Because he, he's a peasant. Because he's a peasant. There are gold shields. Okay. Your chances to hit an enemy behind cover are low. Flank the peasant... Then attack him with your bow. What's okay? So it actually says, oh nice. Look at look at that. It says the chance. So does it go into like a no, you know, you don't get like some XCOM style nonsense. So he's got six HP, so I can I can literally just flank him like this, right? Yeah, you see those are iron yeah, th you see those are iron shields? Was this cost two AP? Yeah, it costs two action points. Oh, it's got a little video with it. Okay. Every time. Nice. Alright, sweet. So yeah, as you can see, half cover, full cover. Half cover, full cover. And apparently these things have HP as well. 
Interesting. So if I move here, 100% chance to hit. Hello, buddy! Oh, that sucks for you. Okay. Ranged heroes can use Overwatch, which allow them to attack the first enemy that moves in sight. Use this ability to slay the skeleton. Pressing the end turn. Where's the shield button? Shield button. Ah, here we go. Okay. Pressing the end turn will automatically put all ranged heroes on Overwatch if they have enough action points. Perform Overwatch and Brace on all heroes in the, in the turn. Skadoosh. 95%. You're dead. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Pushing and pulling lead to physical interactions that cause damage and other effects. Try to kick the spiderling into a rock using left mouse button to select the ability, then right mouse button to target. Okay, so... So it literally tells you which direction you're going here. Um... Okay. Interesting. So, did I do that wrong? I bet I, bet I did that wrong. <laughs> I bet I did that wrong. Uh, hmm. Oh, stun enemies lose two AP, making them under and continue to damage the spinal and kick in order to kill them. Aw, oh, dude. Boom! You're done. Eco unfriendly. You're damn right. No! How dare you, sir? How dare you concocting schemes? Um, so we're gonna use kick. One of the things I read about this is that one of the things I read about this game is that uh, once you once you learn how to finagle the physics and all this stuff, that's pretty much all you do is use the physics rather than your spells. We'll have to see about all that. Toppling all, toppling tall objects can also stun enemies and deal more damage than regular physical hits. Use Whirlwind to topple the tree on the Goblin Scout's head. That sounds awesome. Push a single target away from the mage. Okay. Let's see what it does. It, uh, Spirals out and it just okay, just smacks the rock. All right, so um, nice. Does this have a cooldown? Mm, doesn't look like it. You can select enemies with left mouse button to see how far they could reach and attack on their turn. Oh, really? Oh, now see, that's cool, dude. They definitely need to add this stuff like this to XCOM. Like, clicking on an enemy so you can see how far they can move would be awesome. Uh, keep using Whirlwind to utilize the environment in order to kill the Goblin Scout. Remember, stun units cannot attack. Okay. I guess we'll overwatch. And skadoosh. And so we right... No, I did it the wrong way. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby! I screwed that up. He is, he is. Oh, he almost got me. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here. We right click, right click. There we go. Skadoosh! Ah ah ah! Die, Gabo! Die! Sweet. Goblins use cover more effectively. I did not know that. Units can also get stunned by hitting other units. Use the grappling hook to pull one of the goblin raiders into the other, and you can stun both. Okay. That's pretty cool. He can pull a tree down. That's hilarious. Um, so, what? We do this. And then we grappling hook. <laughs> Evil stirs into the dark. Involuntary intimacy. Come now. Come now, game. Stun or kill two enemies by pushing them into each other. Oh! 
Three months later. Okay. Now we're now we're cooking with uh, cooking with fire here. All right, let's review. I think we can improve in some areas, but we're coming. But we're coming together. I thought, for instance, your speech during the raid was inspiring. Excellent. Do you believe any heard me over the sound of bandits screaming? Well, timing is something I want to touch on. Also, Evan, don't rob the mayor's mansion next time. Eh. But he's got the nicest stuff. Is that really how he talks? Yes, but there was that was our client. Our contracts aren't easy to come by. But as word of our great deeds spreads, the offers will flow. No, I ain't doing any more of that work for exposure nonsense. Agreed, it's degrading. And I have tuition to pay. Wow. Just... Ah, next job then. Could check on the job board. Slim's picking and all, but worth a shake. The three heroes crowd around the job board. The cheap wood peppered with entreaties to kill this many rats or harvest that many herbs. Why look, a posting from Lady Arulyn herself. I hear her estate is so big, her bloody footmen need butlers. Wouldn't that be something? Of course, then those butlers need footmen to order around. Wonder if they got butlers. <laughs> Oh, the contract demands four heroes, and yet we are three figures. Wait, look at this one. Adventures, adventurous seeking party. This could be our fourth, so we could take the other quest. Hard worker, hard puncher, flexible on morality, res resume attached. The meeting place is just over the hill. Let's find this fourth. Join forces and venture forth on Lady Erelyn's lucrative assignment. Very cool. So... Open your town by pressing left mouse button. Boom. This is your town. Hi. Hi. You may construct or purchase buildings, heroes, or in upgrades. Select guild and purchase party size upgrade. Town hall. University. I guess this is the guild. Uh, what? Ah. Big button, says guild. <laughs> Big button. Big button. Hey, party size. We got the Oh, God. I clicked that. I didn't even realize. Uh, whoops. Whoops. Leave the town in search of your fourth party member. You may return to town at any time to construct buildings, purchase upgrades by left-clicking the town icon. That's pretty cool. 150, whatever the hell those are. Ooh, so let's look at the fort. We got a city hall. We can upgrade for 500. I... Crap. I did not mean to do that. Well. Sure. All right. I guess, we're, I guess we're just doing that. Okay, let's go find our fourth party member before I do something else that's super bad. This is the world map. You may explore and interact with any monsters and events and locations. The enemy faction looks like a phone game. Yeah, I, I get that vibe too. The enemy faction will also explore and gain strength every turn, so make haste. That part definitely, definitely looks phone game-ish, but I mean, let's be fair, it's because of the simple art style, it's just, you know, a click interface, so, congratulations, you have finished the tutorial, you are now free to roam the world as you see fit, your current objective is to meet the fourth hero, and you should do so now to increase your roster of heroes, good luck, sweet, oh, is that where she is, story mission to summon your strongest of heroes, what is this, magic, oh, we must, we must do this, I must see what this is. Is there no movement? Scheme? So this must be... Oh, fight. Okay, it's a fight. Um, okay. I guess we're going to go... The meeting place with the hero from the poster lays deserted. But as you move closer, you can spot a group of goblins in the distance. Approach them? Of course. This is a story mission. Your highest level heroes of each class are summoned to it with preference to heroes in the interacting party. I don't know what any of that means, but we're just going to roll with it. Lift cost one action point, does not end the turn, and can lead to powerful combinations. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, no offense, just admitting. Yeah, yeah. Something ain't right. These gobbers are all over the place. Yeah, tenacious. What the hell does that mean? I spot a trapped maiden in distress, lying in a cage just over yonder. A woman clad in fur stands in a cage, calling for her goblin jailer. Oh no, uh, yeah. Oh no, Gitgern, look. Uh, find, find gold in a cage. Come closer and we'll share Gitgern. That's great. A most muscular maiden, indeed. 
Goblin raiding parties don't dare come this close to human settlements. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, so we gotta we gotta break her out. Okay, now we're in it. Now we're in it, boys. Okay, far away lift. Moves a single target to a nearby tile. Okay. Oh, this is this is the human ability, right? Okay, so it's not her and mage overwatch. So does she even have range attack? Yes, she does, magical arrow. I take it it yeah, goblins use cover effectively, my butt. Um so ah do all do we all go first? Yes, yes, it looks like it looks like it's standard XCOM fare here. Yeah, I mean the graphics are fairly simple for the uh the, the phone game thing, but I mean that's just you know, phone games have looked like this for a while. Performs well under pressure, one power and one speed when outnumbered. Very cool. What do you got? Sprinter. Does not divide the effort evenly. Plus two speed on the first movement. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, so the first one. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, okay, I see it. I see it. So she gets plus two movement for the first move. But any after that, she doesn't She doesn't get. Okay, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to move her up here. And we're going to tornado this Gobby in the back. She tired. She tired. Look at that. She tired. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna tornado the gobby in the back. I love the fact that it does it. Look how smooth that is. That is that is really good. All right, and we're gonna. So even show the arrows even show which direction we're going, right? And then up here you can see the accuracy. It's 100% accuracy. What time times 1.1 because it's an animate. Then times 0.78 because of distance. Okay, I gotta right click. So can we hit four? Yes, we can. Excellent. Die, Gabo! No, she missed. She missed. How do you miss, woman? Okay, so I think what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna move. We're gonna move him up, and he cannot kick crap. So this was this was actually a bad idea. This was actually a bad idea. Um. Damn. Damn. Uh, cause he can't. He apparently he cannot kick. Uh huh. So I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with him. Uh, it requires two AP to shoot. Sixty-nine percent. Screw it. And he missed. Cause of course he did. Cause of course he did. All right, we're moving up here. What do you got? You're the one that's tenacious, right? Yeah. And we're going to kick you. Skadoosh. Boom. And he's stunned. No. No. Bad gobbo. Bad gobbo. Wait, I thought you were stunned. Bad gobbo. That's a bad gobbo, boy. That's a bad gobbo. Okay, so. <laughs> she took some damage. Uh, cannot use the melee units. Okay, that sucks. Hmm. She can't kick either, so... That's a thing. She can... What I can do is... Hmm, I can get him to do a kick, right? And then I can get him to come over here and flank this dude. Is that, is that a flank? It's not telling me it's a flank. How about we go... How about we go right here? Let's see what we can get this flank going. Hello, sir! Goodbye! Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Okay, what do you got? Um, I mean, I could be cheeky and just do, just, oh, oh, it does have a two-turn cooldown. Oh, I see. So, yeah, she's definitely, okay, yeah, we're definitely not worrying about that. Now, okay, I screwed that up badly. Okay, yeah, we're screwed, we're, we're, we're having a hard time of it, boys. We're having a hard time of it. Hide, run, run! All right, now, you, get over here. <laughs> oh, did anybody tell you I'm really bad at this? Really bad at this. Skadoosh! And he's stunned. Um, I don't think we can actually shoot the dude. Yeah, she doesn't have enough action points. Um, what does far away lift allow you to do? Is there anything I can do? I mean, can I do it? No, I guess I can't. Um, I guess we could just overwatch. She's not going to have the ability to overwatch, so what do you have? You got Tenacious too? Both of you do, okay. We're going to overwatch. Cackling maniacally. Well, that's great. So is there no healing? I think you need some new music for the moments. In fantasy game, maybe, maybe classic XCOM. Yeah, it's definitely classic XCOM. Um, 
I'm just gonna walk him, smack him in the face. That was great. That was super good. <laughs> the timing just needs to be worked out just a wee bit. And I think he's done with his turn. Yeah, he's done with his turn. Okay, so let's go ahead and move up a little bit, I guess. Ooh, ooh look at all this. It's nice. Oh, you can change their colors. That's cool. I like it. Skill tree, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, that is cool. You can choose which direction to pull. <gasps> Cannot miss. Ooh, okay. 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 Okay, dude. Don't hurt him now. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to wait on my dude bro back here. So, I think I'm gonna move my dudes up and wait. We, we going Overwatch. Sweet. Think I need some new music? Mm, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, it's still, it's still pretty good. Right? It's still pretty good. Da, da, da. And of course, he's now got one. He's not even in cover. Uh, I guess we'll get full cover here. Let's see. How's the shots? Not looking too hot there. Grapple hook. Not also not looking too hot. Um, let's go here. Let's see what we can see what we can finagle with this. Almost. Almost. You can't see them. I can't Overwatch though, so we are gonna do that. And I'm gonna move her up as well to here. And I think we could tornado this one actually. So let's see. Can I? So it only it appears you can only push it in one direction. Fifty-six, dude. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight percent. Let's go. Yes. That one works pretty well. And you'll need a lot of heals. Yeah, we'll probably do a lot of heals. I will say this, the game music's actually pretty nice. Can you hit that dude now? No. And I, I, want, I want some Overwatch, so I think we're gonna Overwatch. Die, fool. Die. One, greetings and salutations, friend. How's the HQ? Well, it's looking pretty funky today. We're trying some new things. How much does this cost? Two AP? Hmm. hmm. What does this do? Brace. Halves damage received from attacks. Rounding upwards. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. What's your shot here? 37, 40. What about you? No shot there. No shot there. So you need to be a little bit closer to be able to finagle that. Now we can, I can move you up, but that's not really going to do much. I think I'm going to move her over here so that she can overwatch, or she can shoot this dude. She's flanking this guy. Ah, oh, crap. She's flanking this guy. Hmm. She only does four to five damage. Why is it only two to three? Let's see. Skadoosh! And she she missed! She missed! Because of course she did. Because of course she did. Brace requires two action points. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna brace. We're gonna run up and we're gonna brace. Uh I guess we right click on ourselves. There we go. And hmm. It kinda looks like I could shoot that. Can I hit it from here? No, no, it says no sight. Let's move up to this one. Long War of the Goblin Slayer. I like the way you think, my dude. I like the way you think. Is that going to hit him? No, that's not going to hit him. Um, hmm. I'm not going to lie. It almost makes me not want to stand behind a tree. <laughs> just, just saying. Just saying. Uh, do, do, do. See, I could pull him this way, but that's not really going to help. No sight on you. I could pull that down. I could pull that rock away. Yeah, none of that's going to help at all. It would have if I'd already used it. So we're just, we're just going to overwatch. And he's going to 
Overwatch as well. Hello! Ah, oh, come on, man! You guys suck! No! Not the wizard! Not the wizard! Damn you, sir! Damn you! Alright, so... You, and look at him. He is overwatching like a bastard. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. Can I finagle this at all? No, I'd have to. I'd have to move up, and that's gonna put us in Overwatch. Hmm. So we don't have. We don't have our whirlwind. What I'm worried about is this guy. So we could. If I move here, it will trigger his Overwatch, and if we kick, we'll be op we'll be open for attack, right? So, hmm, I could just kick him. That could be funny. That could be real funny. Hmm. I could move the Ranger this way and topple this. That would be that would be actually quite hilarious. What is your shot on this dude? Eighty-seven. Oh, it's because he's flanked. Okay, that's not too bad. What do you got on this guy? 20? If I move it all to flank that dude, it's going to it's gonna trigger. Hmm. I think I just take it with him and move up. I think that's what I do. I don't know what I'm going to do about this guy, though. We can't use it in melee range. I think I just have to burn the overwatch. So maybe that's what we do. How much HP do you have? Two? Hmm, how much do you have? Okay, you have that. What's your what's your damage? Four to five. So it says four to five, but it's not that much. One wizard less run, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know. Um Hmm. Does he have to move to hit this dude? I think he does. I'm not sure if they can hit diagonally. I just don't know if my dudes are going to be able to kill this guy. Hmm. Seven! Damn you, sir. Damn you. Oh, and he can still move. Cool. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's move up, shall we? I'm not going to lie. I don't want to discover any more of the map. Come on, buddy. Yes! You missed! Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Fool! And shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face! Nice. Oh, she crit! She crit! She did it, boys! She did it. Um, now look at that. It's look at that. When you move there, you see how it's got the little slash mark? I'm assuming it's because you're in melee, you can't use your actual ability. So I'm gonna go. Hmm. I don't want him behind cover, so I have to I have to flank him. So I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go here. Well we're gonna be easily flanked with this dude, but uh, we're gonna get this guy. Hundo percent! Skadoosh! You're dead, bud. Oh look, did he drop a potion? Assembling cahoots. <laughs> Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been. That could have been. That could have been real bad. I, I, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. And you're done, bud. Oh yeah, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Uh, he is stunned, right? So he can't. Does it say what the stun thing does? Negative two action points and prevents attack. So he can move, and that's about it. All right, good. So I'm just gonna run my happy ass up here. Wago! You need a wizard <laughs> till the morning light. That's good stuff, man. 55% on that one. So he's behind cover. Can he do it? Yeah, baby. That's it. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, wizard. Wizard is a peasant. Like, no HP, man. I mean, to be fair, my ranger is the same way, so... They all have stun protection? Is that because of the, the, the difficulty? I didn't even see what difficulty it was on. I, I didn't even 
look <clears throat> at that. Yeah, I totally didn't look at that. Whoops! Uh, I think this is the one. There we go. I didn't even look at the difficulty. Now I feel ashamed. Finally, heroes! A barbarian, what brings you here so far away from your home in the frozen northern tundra? They're always in the frozen northern tundra, aren't they? Mostly the monk. The puns. The puns! And who is the skeleton companion of yours? This is Steve. He starved to death, but now can come back for tantalizing conversation. That's great. The nether spews force. The end is nigh! Yes, you said that already, Steve. Wow. You're not a good conversationalist. Secret is more... Listen. <laughs> That's not possible. Let me know just spontaneously rise from the dead. So, of course, not afraid death. Welcome in open arms. Welcome it with open arms, like a beloved best friend. But maybe hang out with best friend later. You help? God, help me. Oh, uh, hold still, my lady. We shall retrieve the key from the dude. Oh, no. God dang it. Well, it looks like we're not done yet, boys. Looks like we're not done yet. Okay, so... Everybody got movement? Full movement? Is this cover? It is cover. Hmm, so literally everything can be used to uh, blow your face up? Is that, what we're, is that what we're talking about? Yeah, it looks that way. Um, move you up. And then we'll move you up. Hmm. Hmm. He's right there, so I'm about to... And we're about to see him. So I'm going to move... You up to full cover. We still don't see him. Hmm. I kind of don't want to move up anymore. Hope he hide. Give me that tango life, baby. That tango life. All right, we're gonna. We're, I think we're gonna hold again. Uno mas. Uno mas. Yeah, we're gonna move her up and see what she sees. And she sees him. Gods, more of you bloody heroes. <laughs> mean giggle, right? Get Gurn mean giggle? God dang it. That burly one tore the head off me. Best tracker. Killed two more of me raiding party. And keeps trying to trick me to let her out. You know, that's, 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 uh, that's it. Have juicy secrets to share. That's great. <laughs> Thought humans were bright, soft, and delicious in stew. Apparently not. I don't know what brought you and your raiding parties here, but you'll leave at once and release your prisoner. Indeed! I am not going to... Did he really say that? I'm not going to? Seriously, that's way more articulate. Is he missing an arm? It's an armless gobbo! I'll be damned. I'll be damned. She's terrifying! A menace! And worth her weight in gold, the Demon King pays top coin for innocent maiden sacrifices. Innocent? Demon King soon unhappy client. <laughs> then you leave us no choice. Okay, here we go. Enough of all that nonsense. Let's go. Can I knock that over? 58. So 50-50 here. Um, so I should probably go for one of the further trees. 12% for you. Mm. Let me see. What is this guy? This guy is a melee bro. What is this guy? This guy is an archer bro. What are you? You've got... You're basically a paladin with... Blinding light. Oh, that's just awesome. Does he have stun protection? He has passive stun protection. Wow, isn't that nice? So we know we're not going to stun his ass. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for the archer, honestly. It's a little bit better, a little bit bigger as well. Want to be a ranger when you get your side heroes? Word. Can you even change their names? Is that even a thing? <gasps> no, you can't. Damn it. Damn it. Well, well, dude, you'll definitely, you'll probably, definitely, most probably, likely, in fact, get one. I'm sure that's a lot. There's a lot of wee warriors in there, but we'll, we'll have it. Have at it, sir! Yes, yes, die, fool, die! All right. What are we gonna be doing here? We could move up, and let me see. This costs brace costs two actions as well, so I don't really see how moving up is gonna help me. Uh, maybe if we go here and brace, that'd probably be a good idea. 
I mean, if I do this, how I don't think that's gonna do much. So we're just gonna we're just gonna break. And how far does this go? Not very far. So I could move. I, I think I'm gonna Overwatch. I think I'm gonna move up and Overwatch. There ain't much else I can really do at the moment. Not these, yeah, not these. Um, I mean, I could pull down the tree, but that's not gonna do anything for me, is it? Yeah, no sight on you. No sight on that. 13% chance to shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna overwatch. Skadoosh, baby. Sweet. He braced. Okay. So he did like a spell to me or something? What is this? 40 accuracy for two turns. You little butthead. You, sir, are a butthead. Uh, so does the tree prevent so we can not we can't we can't hit the tree so I cannot actually get to him so I think we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna brace since he messed up my accuracy um, let's see hmm, I'm not gonna be able to flank easily either All I can really do is like pull down this tree, right? But that, that's not gonna do much for me. I could pull this one down. Um, yeah, I, could pull, I, could, I think I might be able to do that. I might be able to pull that tree down behind the goblin. Does that work? No, it says it pulls it straight down, so that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Hmm. I guess we'll overwatch again. And I think I'm going to overwatch with her as well. Yeah, we're going to overwatch with her as well. I don't know what they're going to do, and I don't really know what to do. These are main heroes, but you'll buy more for side quests. Awesome. Awesome. And... I think we're just going to get a turn. See what they do. Missed. Come on, girl. Yeah, right in the face. Skadoosh. Not very watchful. What does this mean? Cancel an enemy overwatch. Very nice. Very nice. No, my paladin! How dare you, good sir? How dare you? Um, I am very curious how this is going to roll. So I'm going to move here. And we're going to kick this this way. hi -ya! Oh my god, we missed! How game? Why? All right, well, we're going to go here, and we're going to do the hook. Come on. Hit him, boy. Yes! Ah, 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 ah. Ding! Some really weird legs, right? Yeah, this game is this game is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, and he's stunned, so it's, we only got the one dude in the back. What's your chance? 83%. Why is it so low, dude? I thought you were supposed to be some type of wizard or something. Skadoosh! There it is, baby. With that crit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! Four HP damage. No! How dare you, sir? How very dare you. Um. Hmm. Yeah, he's gonna die if I don't do something about this. Um. I guess I could just move him here. And we will do brace. He's got two HP, so yikes. And I guess we're just gonna be taking shots at the Gabo, honestly. Um, I can move her right up here. I don't know if she can see the Gabo or not. That's the problem. Oh, you can level him up in the middle of combat? Oh, you can! Oh, that's awesome. Blast of fire spreading from the Ranger, burning everything in the area of effect. Sounds awesome. Uh, t -t -t targets nearby units, objects. Okay, so knockback arrow. Pushes a single target away from the ranger. Cannot be used near melee units. Cannot use while crippled. Nice. Range 14 tiles. Range 1 tile. Blinding light. Summons a holy light to blind an enemy, crippling its accuracy and dealing slight damage. Cannot... Okay. Cannot... Cannot miss. 
Target enemy, unlimited tiles. Interesting. Does require does not require line of sight with the actual target. Oh, okay, so that's what it does. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna go knockback arrow. We're gonna go knockback arrow. Abilities have rarity. Oh, that's cool. Stand by for me, dudes. Alrighty, so abilities have rarity, huh? Where do you see the rarity? Does it does it show anything? Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's the poo -hoo -hoo. hey. Hmm. Okay, it looks like almost everybody's almost there. Okay, so what do you have on this dude? Seventy-five percent. Come on, girly, make it happen. Okay. Didn't exactly know what the hell that was gonna be. Uh, Twelve percent. Oh, 70% on that one. Can we not knock it that way? I've already moved. I have. So we're going to overwatch. And he missed my cover. Excellent. And... Let me see here. Does it have to... Can I not... Oh, I can actually hit the goblin with it. Okay. Can you, can you hit the goblin this time? That'd be great. That'd be great! Yes! Yes! Ah, <laughs> when you level up at the top of the card. Um, okay. Ah, I see. Fire Blast. Chain Lightning. Which then jumps up to two times to the closest enemy unit inflicting reduced damage. Cannot target the same unit twice. Cannot be using your melee units. Four damage. Ricochets three to four damage times two. Targets enemies in range of 14 tiles. See, this looks pretty good. But this looks really awesome. Right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Chain lightning. We're, we're we're totally gonna do chain lightning. Oh yeah, baby. Thank you, by the way. Farewell. Appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, now let's go ahead and grab the thingamajigger. I was about to say, am I gonna, am I gonna have to run all the way back? No. The answer is no. Cage very limiting for fun adventure. Skeleton seems weaker than before, more pale, its voice barely a whisper. The nether spews forth, the end is nigh. <laughs> Glad to be of assistance. Goblins seldom venture near our towns. Have you have any idea what they were doing? Perhaps you spotted suspicious behavior. Uh, Kitra Krita pauses to recall all the details. Goblins marauding, kidnapping, speaking with evil shadows, sacrificing to the demon king. Okay, that's, that's but nothing out of the ordinary. Nope. <laughs> okay, Steve, you chill out, buddy. Chill out. Curious. He gestures toward the skeleton's remains in the other cage. What of this mystery? You mentioned the friend who rose without a necromancer. Steve died two days ago. A day later, he got up by himself. That's, yeah, that's bad. Unliving don't just simply rise on their own. A necromancer is required as a focal point for the unliving spirit. I can easily prove it once we're around town using simple, intersected, multivariant axis chart. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Stand back, dudes. Stand back. We have a super, extra, super ultra mega nerd here. Something tells me we're going to be short on time just then. And thus, the theorem is indisputable. It's impossible for an unliving to be assembled without, the, without a nearby necromancer. Well, then there must be a nearby necromancer somewhere, shouldn't there? Before the goblin capture, I I wait here for companion friends. Maybe you want strong fighter? God, the right. <laughs> most certainly, we have a lucrative contract by Lady Aroline, but require one other. Would you? You would be most welcome. <laughs> Huzzah! I love it. Huzzah! Ooh, 121 renown. Is that the? Is that the bits? Oh, we got a we got a B. Boo! Boo! We received 16 damage. That's probably why. Cause I'm a derp. 
So you can exert a zone of control to prevent prevent the ranged attacks. Interesting. All right, I'm summoning Aralene to discuss the gig. She's our biggest client yet, so let's all please be on our best behavior. I must afford next year's tuition, so it's either this or the loan sharks. Ugh. We all know how far the ocean, how far away the ocean is. Okay. She delicately pulls out and unfolds a crystal orb and chants the words in an unfamiliar language. The word Aralene stands out. The orb brightens, swirls, and shifts to reveal the interior of a castle. Your grace, tis the, an, an honor to be speaking with one such as... Thank you for contracting Lady Irelene House of Cheval. <laughs> Defender of the poor, gracious unto the downtrodden, median of her name. Please stand by. Oh my god. Oh yes, it's an answer machine. That's great. Catchy. Catchy. My lady, someone is on the crystal ball for you. Put them on hold. I just arrived and the walk was disgusting. I was in a carriage, of course, but I saw a man walking through the window. Uh, it may be Lord Bellatry, your grace. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bellatry about time. The old bastard has been colluding with the council for months. Unfortunately for him, I've had them underway. Under my thumb since my 13th birthday. Coup d'etat. Put, put me through. Freaking nobles, right? Greetings! You are speaking with Lady Araline of the House Chatelevaux. Uh, Chatelevaux? Is, is that what that says? Or King's Bounty? You know it. <laughs> you know it in USA? Yeah. Defender of the poor, gracious to the downtrodden, meaning of my name. That's great. Upon greeting, greetings, your ladyship. I am Leandra, and we are the up and coming adventuring party, four strong, responding to your poster. Recollects to herself. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, she's totally evil. And is not going to totally betray us. No, no. She's the, she's the bestest one around. Your assignment is a crucial one. A goblin horde has appeared and is terrorizing our valley while the king's forces are indisposed in the secession war to the east. Oh, you mean you mean a, you mean a civil war. Is that, is that what that is? That explains a great deal. A goblin horde so close to our beloved valley, we must raise a banner against these invaders. Yes. Quiet, you are heroes. You heroes are to recruit a local army, join forces with High Lord Avanthus, Avathus, Avathus, and drive out the goblin raiding party not far from where you are. There's a chest on top. Yeah, I see it up there with the chanting Gabo. That's what it looks like. High Lord Avanthus, Lion's Mane himself? It would be an honor to fight alongside such a great hero. Aralene rolls her eyes and mechanically delivers the rehearsed statement. Despite our disagreements, High Lord Av Avathus is a great nobleman who has proven his valor on the battlefield many a time over. Over his many, many years. <laughs> all exp the assignment is all expenses included. She wrinkles her nose. Yes, why not? Just spare me such crass details. Excellent. Now I must away for important matters of state. Farewell, brave adventurers. This reminds me of Age of Wonders franchise. You know, it does have that uh, it does have that feel. That'd go good, yes. I suppose, but didn't feel too easy. Maybe I'm paranoid. You heard her. Time to raise an army and find out about us. Okay, cool. Is it my turn? Can I, can I can I do things now? Oh, what is that? Story mission. What what is what is what is I don't want to just click on things. I don't know I don't know how the interface works. Okay, left clicking does nothing. It doesn't even keep it up. Ooh, what is that? A barrel? Okay, I gotta go all the way around for that. Alright, I don't know what the hell that is. Um Three Gobos. Four Gobos. Ooh, a clique of wizards. That's okay. Okay, three skulls. Yeah, we're not we're not cool with that. Hang on, let me see. What does it does not cinematics auto camera tooltip videos do, do, do. so I can't remember if I actually clicked let me see this slot one load yes okay so I want to check something real quick campaign okay so it's on normal that this was the difficulty slider crap all right, all it changes, if I'm not mistaken, is how much resources they start with. So I'm not overly concerned with that. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to check that out right there. Check your city, collect everything. Why would I need to check my city at the moment? I'm confused. 
I'm confused. We do get one. We do get some of these, and we got four in our party. I'm assuming we can eventually get five, and it looks like you can have three parties. End turn. Cannot construct a new building or upgrade existing today because we're building a city town hall, right? Yes. Okay. Guild inventory slots. Ooh, hello. Um. Increase damage of units by one. That sounds useful. That sounds very useful. Speed. I think I'm thinking damage. I'm thinking damage might be good. Can I open my inventory? No. Heroes. Oh, we can buy heroes. That's cool. The well versed. Pushy. Overdoes it when it comes to physics. Physical abilities and objects used further. Okay. He's got claw attack. A dishonorable yet effective close range attack against a single target. Only does three damage? Really? Oh, it's a double attack. That's cool. So you can brace, lift. Why would you move it out of the way? I could understand moving it in the way. Sort of. But it requires two action points to kick, then an attack of opportunity. Okay. We got another wizard, the black hair. Interesting. And another ranger. Sweet. I think we'll we'll just not worry about that for right now. Uh, doop, doop, do. Four buildings. Yes, we've already got all that. And we're building this because I'm, I'm a derp. Because I'm a derp. Hero cap reach cannot create new parties. Okay. So, we exit. Okay, now. Excellent. We can go back to there. How do we end a turn? What does it involve? Let me see. I don't see any... I don't want to go that way. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go up here. What is this? It's three gobos. Super not difficult. Also, few footmen. Let's go here. Ready for battle. Battle! Battle! Kick is the only physics ability without a cooldown. Okay. I played the last part with hexagons. Oh, wow, it just drops you straight in. Okay, so... And we're four now. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, my God. She has chain lightning. 33, 34. That is so cool. Um, 65 on that one. I think... Dude, I can run right here, man. That's... Hmm. We can actually get right here, but I'm not sure I'll be able to see them. So I think I'm going to run right here. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna topple this. Ninety percent. Can she do it, boys? Oh, there it is. You're dead. You're dead. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for playing. Please, please come again. Please come again. Okay, so I guess we move forward and brace. Probably the best bet. And oh, we got this. We got this lady. Oh, she has the. She has the. Okay, she has the claw attacks. That's cool. So we could basically do the same with her, essentially. Yes. Mm, except she can't move nearly as far. What about my ranged attacker? We got a knockback arrow. So. Mm, let's go here. And we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens when I do this. It's 56, and it'll knock him back. 56 on you as well. He's got 10 HP, dude. Look at that. I might just go for the shot, honestly. What do you got? What do you? What do you? What are you looking at here? He's got clobber. Knocks one tile backward. Not usable on objects. Okay, so knocking him back would actually be pretty good. Um. <gasps> Skadoosh, baby! Huh, there you go. Get you some. Get you some! And he's stunned. He's not, but I don't think that matters. I'm just gonna move her up. See what the barbarians got. And the big button in the center is for red. Ah, the blue line on the top is your turn length. Aha! Huzzah! Like, I'm half tempted to, like, move, not stand in cover, but main reason is because they could use it against me, right? Let's, let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. Two damage is not that bad. I want to see what this does. 
はいやふしわふわふしわふわ